program, a sport in KC, has gotten off to a really hot start. What are you attributing that to? I think it started in, in our preseason. We had a, a fantastic preseason. Guys came in very fit, um, ready to work, and uh, we got a lot accomplished. And it doesn't hurt that, that our team is as healthy as it has been in the past probably three years. Um, so, so everyone being on the field, being able to contribute really helps. Can we talk a little about Jersey Fridays, <laughs> something that's happened with Sporting KC and specifically with Benny Feelhaber, mm. and I know uh, maybe his pronunciation of his last yeah. name. I think I'm, I'm close, right? Pretty close. Feelhaber, yeah. my German isn't so good. <laughs> uh, but he and Jurgen Klinsmann have a very public feud. They have both pulled no punches talking about each other. Uh, it's sort of a lack of respect. And Benny shows up to Jersey Fridays wearing a Jurgen Klinsmann jersey. What yes. went through your mind when you first saw him show up in the jersey? Um, not surprised, really. Uh, the good thing about Benny is he can he can have fun with it. Not not a whole lot of shock from from the inside from the team. Um, just a lot of fun, and I, and I think for the most part people took it lightheartedly. But um, you see those kind of conversations popping up on Twitter that are always fun to read as well. Can they bury the hatchet? Can this be the beginning of perhaps, you know, uh, just a making of peace? I, I hope so. I, I hope so. Benny, Benny's benny got a lot to offer, and, um, you know, if his, if his chance ever comes up, hopefully he can take it and, and run with it. Speaking of capitalizing on your opportunities, you get called in for the World Cup qualifier against Guatemala. You end up scoring. Now, this was a very tenuous position for the U.S. to be after losing to Guatemala. How relieved were you to come away with that win? Very. You know, obviously not the, the most, uh, the best result down in Guatemala. Um, but we, we've been in this spot before. You don't like to be in this spot, but, um, but it happens almost every single World Cup cycle. Um, you, you get in that must-win situation, and it, we didn't panic. It, it was as simple as that. Came out, we did what we had to do, took care of business, and got a great result. We don't think that uh, Benny was behind the Fire Klinsman banner that <laughs> flew across that match, although you never know. Um, you were there for it. Do you feel like that was a distraction? I didn't see it before the game, so uh, simple answer is no. Um, at that point, you're, you're very locked in and focused on the task ahead. Um, I think someone asked me about it later, and, and, and I, again, I, I, I didn't know about it. So uh, for me, no distraction at all. Okay, and the guys on the team, when, when people are questioning whether or not your coach may or, not, may or may not be on the hot seat, mm -hmm. how does that affect the rest of the guys in the locker room? Um, well, you know, you, you try to go about business, and um, there, there's so many things that go on, on inside of a locker room that, uh, people on the outside don't know about um, that you just don't worry about it it's it's really as simple as that it's it's a business and um, we have a task at hand that we're trying to accomplish and uh, I think we made the right steps toward that uh, of course last week the U.S. women's national team uh, filed a complaint they don't believe they're getting uh, equal wage and getting a fair shot um, they say that they're getting paid 44% less than the U.S. men's national team. Um, do you feel like the men's team and the women's team should be paid equal? Well, the, uh, you know, the men and women's team have, have a fantastic relationship. Um, a lot of the, the negotiations are, are done uh, almost hand in hand. So, uh, you know, there's no question that I, I do believe that the women uh, deserve, uh, deserve more and, and um, I'm fully in support of them. Do they deserve equal to the men? Um, you know, it, it's tough to say. You know, they, they've done such a, a great job, um, you know, bringing so much attention to our sport. Um, it, there, there's so many different circumstances that go into it as well. Um, it's tough to say because... Um, like I said, there's just there's there's a whole lot of circumstances um, that go into it. I, I think they definitely deserve more than what they're getting now. But you don't believe they deserve equal. That's not a yes. I didn't say that. <laughs> so answer me: Do should men and women who play for the national team should they make the same amount? Sure. <laughs> sure. You're we not do, that we're, convinced. We're doing the same job, aren't we? Well, that's what the women are saying. They're saying that they that you should get paid the same. So you agree? 
I agree. I okay. agree with that. I'm in full support of the women. Okay. Uh, you mentioned that the men and the women have a really good relationship. Although we've seen a little bit of friction, just specifically with Abby Wambach, who gets arrested for a DUI, and then uh, Josie Altador, Alejandro Bedoya sent out a few tweets that seem like they were poking fun at her. Right. Are there things that need to be resolved between the men and the women? Um, you know, I, I thought Abby uh, handled her situation actually very well. Um, coming out, being completely honest, um, I, I think that's the best way to do it, be out there on the forefront. Um, to be honest, what was a little disappointed in, in seeing uh, some of the tweets directed at her in a negative way, but um, again, uh, I think uh, people can take it out of context as well. I think uh, Alejandro was actually being, um, being applauditory towards her and, and being uh, completely honest. So um, again, it's, it's a situation where people come out and, and, and try to stir the pot as much as possible, try to get between us. Bedoya said, must have been a foreign American player's fault. This is obviously going back to something that Abby said where she felt like uh, real Americans, not people with dual citizenship, this is her words, not people with dual citizenship should be eligible for the national team. You thought that was applauding her? He, in, in later tweets, he was defending himself, and, and I saw that he was... Uh, was applauding her. Okay. So do you think that the, the relationship, though, between the men and the women is good? I do. I, I, I'm friends with many of the women on the team, and I think it's fantastic. Okay. Graham, thank you so much. We appreciate it, and good luck with Sporting KC appreciate the rest it. of the way. Thank you very much.